Hello, and welcome back to another video. We are playing as Lord Nestor Royce of Runestone, the mighty bronze lord of the Vale. That's going to be us here on the left, and kind of looks like we have a little adult diaper on. That's interesting. And this is going to be our son and heir, Allard Royce. So, we can come down here to Runestone. We have quite a few alliances, not too bad. We are allied with the Fossilways, Lord Alwood the Hon- Alfred, not Alwood. Alfred the Honest. Around 6,000 troops, Lord Damon the Cruel of White Harbor. 51 years old, around 7,500. And we've got a couple more. The most notable coming up next is going to be King Lauren the Worthy, who is a Lannister King over in the Westerlands. 30,000 troops. And they are allied with King Torn of the North, actually, which is very interesting. Very cool, very nice. And we'll zoom out a little. We'll show off our kingdoms. Not our kingdom. We are not kings yet. Our lordship. We have Runestone is going to be the name of our high lordship. We have this portion of the bottom of the veil, kind of like this uh, eastern, southeastern coast, as well as this northeastern coast. Today, I think we're going to try and keep grabbing up to fingers. Maybe even take some of the sisters. Who knows? Maybe we'll just keep taking, uh, cons keep building our own power here. We are a learning build. Quite nice, though, with the four education stars. And our son, Sir Allard Royce, is going to be a three-star steward build, which will be very nice to play as him. That'll be lots and lots of money coming in. Love to see it. Love getting that money. And before we do anything, are we? Okay. So I have my Septon fabricating a, not fabricating a claim. He is converting the faith. These guys are going to be a warrior. Where were the seven? That's what it is. Which is pretty similar to Faith of the Seven, except they have some werewood doctrines. Kinslaying is shunned. Witchcraft shunned. Female adultery shunned. Oh, and male adultery. We love some uh, non-gender discriminating kings. Alright, so let's get on to two. Let's get her rolling. So our lieges is going to be the errands. And eventually we are going to want to be able to uh, displace them, become independent. That's going to be our goal. To become independent bronze kings from the Aarons. We've got... So we started in Aegon's Conquest. And this is about all he's taken so far. I wonder if he'll keep nabbing up some of these spots. And one of the interesting things... Ooh, this is nice. This is our son, Robar. Hopefully that double trait will be good. Off you go. Oh. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay, so, oh, they're actually fighting. The Stormlands and the Reach are battling it out right now. Okay, so we'll accept this call to war. We're going to see if it's actually going to be worth joining. It is pretty close, uh, levy-wise. I think we'll probably just keep our troops out of it. We're not actually going to, uh, join in. We'll accept... That's what it's looking like. 37. Where should we send our 9,000 in? Hmm. I don't think so. We'll just keep doing what we're doing. We do have our faction against our liege. Do we have any more members? Nope, it is just us. There's a Liberty Faction going on, led by the Lord of the Paps up here. But he's not too strong, so we're not really too worried about that. It'd be nice if, like, the Iron Oaks or the Red Forts would join in in our... in our Independence Faction. The Port of Aaron is at its faith converted. Down here. 
So they are now a Weirwood of the Seven County. And I think I'll come up here, try and grab a few more of these fingers. We got Grimholm and a few of them up here. So that'll take 11 months. Oh, that's actually... That's kind of a weird separation right there. But that's alright. Oh, that's a... I don't think I've ever seen that logo. Some A green field with pink snakes and an apple core. That is pretty cool. But we're going to buy his claim for 250 piety. Buy claim. And we'll buy the one behind him too. Buy that claim. So then, when... Do we have an, a, a truce with them? No. So when this is finished right there, developing that Grimholm claim, we'll try and buy it another one or two. Who are you? Are you just like a random Aaron? Buy claim. We'll take that. We're going to use those to snatch up some of those claims. Okay, the war was invalidated. Okay, someone died, so that's nice. We never really had to get involved in that war anyway. It was kind of pointless, as most of them are. We have Stormlands here, so we could... I'm pretty sure we could go ahead and get independent from the Aarons. Declaring an independence war. Like 102,000 against 24. My men in arms. So I think I'm going to do it after I do the war for the fingers. Because that will just boost up my strength a little bit. And then I also need a few more men at arms I think. I think that will really help us. Win this war against the falcons. So what, when that. when it, Words are hard and hard's a word. So when the time comes down for it. I think I will be. Mainly just calling in the Stormlands. Well, I'll call in everyone. But I think the people doing the most work will be these two. Is this Lord Raymar's Feast of Greglin, one of our vassals? We will definitely try and make it. We normally don't make it in time. Let's see. Let's see if we'll make it. Yeah, we normally don't make the ones that are up here. We're normally late to the destination. Hmm, was this a foreign treat? I don't think I care about either of you. Some callous. Get out of here. We're overwhelmed by stress. New idea I had last time. Self to somehow to usher. the grand wedding. I couldn't, and my six children are all married in favor to our house. Oh, very nice. How was the grand wedding? I don't know if I've ever done one of those. Oh, so we do end up making it to the feast. The honorary guest is Lord Courtney. Courtney. House Blaze. Look forward to this. He's got a nice mustache on him. There we go, we'll pick that one. The bottom one, every guest but the one pictured will gain 10 opinion of us. Leona recognizes our intellect. I had to do one, otherwise they wouldn't accept it. Oh, I gotcha. So, I guess, do they, like, help you... Because my house is obscure. Do they boost, like, your house's, like... What is it, like, the renown of your house? Or is it, do it, do they just kind of like boost the marriage acceptance chance? We're no longer overwhelmed by stress. Excellent, excellent, that's awesome. Before the mental break kicked in. Are they part of the, are they a D DLC thing? Am I need to buy some of the DLCs. I think I only have one. Here, here.
Ooh, let's scroll back down. Now we should depart, we lose some stress, we get some renown, and we finally get to eager reveler traits. We'll finish that feast. Looks on a grand wedding. Oh, sh that is a good boost. That plus 50 opinion is a fantastic boost to get. I think the 7 horror one, we can go inside again. Wonderful. See it done. So now that we have that claim, we're going to come over here and declare war on the Grimholm man. So we're going to press all four of our claims here. That'll leave him with just... Can I go ahead and just take those two as well? Like this one? Buy this claim. So let's clear war on him. We gained a rival, gained a nemesis, war declared. And we'll come over here and we will raise all here. And then, just to speed things up, I'm going to call in Lord Damon the Cool. Cruel. Excellent, excellent. He joins. I don't even see if they have any allies. I don't think so. Nope. Does not seem like it. So we're going to send this army directly to their house. Put them under right away. Then we'll use these 3,000 to kind of just deal with wherever these land. Probably over some here at Pinkstrath. Maybe it looks like they're coming around to Tamerland. Honestly, since the DLC is out, I can't think of a way to play without it, honestly. Hmm. I've seen a lot of people on the subreddit saying saying it uh, tours and tournaments is a must, as well as there was another one too. I think I'm not sure. I thought maybe not. Oh, what is this? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, the River King's kind of weak right now. But let's look. So King Jonos. Our liege has gone to war, attacking the Lordship of Riverbend. Is that like this right here? Okay, right there. This could be beneficial in our favor. Could make him a bit weaker. Could spend up some of his gold. Is Royal Court the other one? That's a, okay. I think it, I think that's the one you you just said. Royal Court's the other one. I think I've seen some people talking about wards and wardens. Maybe that one was. <laughs> Yeah, I need to look in... I'm not sure which one I have. Because I bought it when I bought the game a year ago, whenever the mod came out. So we're going to have a little battle going on here. Should decisively win. Victory, victory. Nice. We captured some of the enemy combatants. Let's go in here and check them out. Lord Kellon. We got a 50 ransom from him. That is excellent. And Simon, we'll just kind of hold on to him for now. We get another perk. Know thyself. We're just going to go ahead and click. That is excellent. When death is death of natural causes is one year away, you will receive a warning. That'll be my chance to call in the Iron Bank of Bravos and get a loan from them if it comes down to it. Where are those guys going? Are they going all the way up here? Let's bring them on back. Oh, wait. We're right out of straight. I don't need to go that way. I'm a fool in fool's clothes. So, making good siege progress on their capital. We'll get 18 when that finishes. wonder if we'll get out here in time to catch them. No, it does not look like it. They're going to be a little quicker than us. Sun Warden friend, don't be scared, boy. You can be lustful. Ooh, get in that fight real quick. Join on in. Maybe we'll capture someone important. I hate that the AI just like stops their siege. Oh wait. They got it. Never mind. So we increase the control in that county, which is excellent. We're about to finish the siege up. Finish it up, we're at 83%. Now I think we'll just need to take a few more territories, then we'll be all good to go. We'll come and bring you to the province of Hull Breach. Why not? That seems like a good place to go. Capturing some prisoners. Simona. 
Do you have any gold on you? No, you do not. Simona Stone and Simon. We'll probably just end up banishing them at some point. I reread A Storm of Swords again, and it's such an interesting book. Seeing Catelyn slowly lose her humanity. The Catelyn chapters are pretty good. So the Manor Lee's going to go and do some fighting, defending the sieged and controlled territories on the Paps. It's nice since we don't have to. I really wish that Lady Stoneheart had been incorporated into into the uh, TV show. I think that would have been really interesting. Would have really helped like flesh out some of the later seasons too. Or something like not the later later seasons, but like the mid. Some of those mid to late seasons. But, oh well, they didn't want to do any of the fantastical elements. Alright, so let's go ahead and give these lands out. We've got four to hand out. Bomb and stone. Should I start landing some suns? I don't think so. Landing suns always gets a bit tricky. We will also grant you... Minlor and Brownden. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted. Now, Longmore, you can go to. You. Hugh. Hugh, call it. Crew it. You got it. Looks like the uh, Albanian eagle. So we have greatly increased our lands. That'll bring us up to 10,000. And we're going to keep on trying to increase our control in our new territories. It'll take four years. And we'll try to also try and convert the faith. We're going to start in Goldview still. And I do love that Jamie jumped into the bear pit. Jamie chapters rock. Jamie chapters are some of the like best written chapters throughout the whole series. Especially when he goes back to the Riverland Riverlands after being in King's Landing for a time and trying to kind of like restore his image. Those might be some of the best chapters in uh in the whole book. So we have a faction created against us. Once the High Lordship of Grimholm. Who's in here? He's weak. He can't do anything about it. The Jamie Brienne interactions are also just really, really good. I'm really curious to see if we ever see what happens next where they are with Jamie going to like help her and the Lady Stoneheart all coming to a tie and stuff. It should be good if we ever get to see it. Okay, this might be an opportune time to try and attack the errands. Try and gain our independence. We have a lot of gold, so let's come and see here. Are the Stormlands in a war? No, that's 42,000. 30,000. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and declare war for independence, especially while he actually we'll build a minute arms regiment first of... Do we even need him? We'll just like upgrade our siege equipment and get some like bowmen I think. We'll do some bowmen and we will do a armored footman unit. We'll upgrade to two. So we'll station these guys in the port of Aaron and we will station you guys and Grafton's hold fast. I think that'll work out well. But anyways, we're going to get on into it. This is a nice battle for them to be fighting. Losing some of their men. I do want our minute arms to kind of build up a little more. That'd be nice. We are going to declare war. For independence. Let's see if we can call our friends in. This is what we need. Call to war. There we go. We're going to bring the Westermen on in, as well as the Stormlands. 41,000 Storm Stormlords and their men. We'll bring the neck. We're just going to call everybody. Call them all. Spending all of our prestige. We 
we'll put it on one speed so things start progressing. I'm not too quick so we don't get overwhelmed here. Excellent, excellent. Oh yeah, we're taking no chances here. When I was playing as the high towers, I had a huge, huge uh, numerical advantage. But yet, I was still thrashed. Got a little battle going on here. So we win the first battle. We're up to plus 30% already. I don't think this is going to be too hard. We've already smacked the errands. So let's come over here. Should I just immediately throw the Eerie under siege? What is this? 132, 132, 132, 137. We'll see. We'll start heading that way. Probably be a good idea to start trying to occupy some territories. They've still got around 10,000 troops. We'll see where they're going. And it's also going to let the Ironwoods and the Hoars, who, <laughs> the Hoares, as we had to say, because YouTube doesn't like me saying what their actual name is, but the Hoares are going to be able to break that siege, and that'll mean their war is going to go a little different over there, too. So hopefully we could also just keep them distracted. Now what's happening over here? Looks like the Lannisters are showing up, bringing around 40,000 men. And I imagine there'll be a battle over here before too long. Five years! Oof! <laughs> Man. That's a little while. So if we come down here and try... I'm getting a little fight with the errands. We'll leave those guys up there, I think. The siege troops. The mystery of why she is there and how she achieves it. Ooh, Rob Royce's marshal was increased. Excellent. We can unlock a new learning lifestyle perk. So we'll go in here and do that. We'll do wash our hands. Even though I have plagues turned off. I hate playing with plagues. They are the worst thing ever. Secret is exposed. That's alright. Go down here and try and fight these wars. Both become queens. Like Jorah Mormont is such a vastly... D Jorah Mormont's one of the craziest ones. And I think that a lot has to do with the casting because Ian Glenn a lot of Jorah Mormon is his off-putting appearance and it, the vibe he gives off is kind of off-putting and gruff and he seems like a rough man but Ian Glenn is very much not that <laughs> Ian Glenn's a pretty good looking dude who uh, who's he's not that gruff rough man that's depicted but I do like the Ian Glenn casting. I think it was a decent change. That's not like, out of all things in the show to book, that's not one of the ones I'm super upset with. Making... Because I think he did a pretty good job, especially um, pretty early, when she was still like learning to be Cal Drogo's wife and all that stuff. Or not Cal Drogo's wife, but being... Like learning to be a Dothraki, I should say. Oh, 95%, so it looks like we probably don't even need to really siege the Eerie. We're going to leave those guys up there for now because, you know, they're trying really well. Oh, they're going to sneak up there and fight. <laughs> probably get destroyed up top. We'll see if we can get there in time. Go help them out. Because we don't want to lose a... Either way, we'll snag them as they're coming down. I inherited the lordship of Osgard well. So let's come. Is that this one? And let's see who we can grant it to. 
We go, ooh, the Herculean herring. Seems nice. He's got a goat. Got an empty council position, our Castilian. There we go. Put a powerful vassal on the on the board. It'll be good to appease them. Can I raise these guys back up <laughs> after getting they got smoked? Or revenge going on across the little pond? They do grow up fast. Good for him. My son has been knighted. So let's go here. We'll raise all. Get the troops back on in to some sieges. Yeah, let's get it like right there. Or we'll just join them up to the main force. We got about 11,000. A little more. Taking some prisoners into siege. Excellent, excellent. And we'll just get it like right there. Just gonna keep putting them under siege. Let's go in and see what our prisoners have to say. Durham Darkholm. So putting them under siege, they're running back on up. It looks like. What if we split that in half? And we're just going to send our bowmen, this unit, to go get them. Go fight them. It's going to be 3,000 more errands coming through there. i merge those two and keep just sieging that province. The control was in increased. Goldie Royce has a daughter. Very nice. Edmund. Where's this bastard? Oh, it is. Edmund Stone. Yeah, he's got a fight going on. 43,000. Enemy combatants captured. Very nice. Gonna have another fight. Should be easy as well. And I think they are pretty much out of troops. I do think they have control of some of our land. Maybe not. I thought they had taken over one of our territories, but it doesn't seem that way. Alright, 91%. Hopefully finishing this siege up. 95 just need to get a little closer. We're getting there. Let's go. Do we need to just siege the Eerie? I guess we'll do the Gates of the Moon. That is a level 5 holder. I don't know if I really want to do that one. So we'll go do Kipris. Just try and build up some uh, war score that way. I know just a place for him. Desmond Tyndale. Sure. Why not? The masked man can come and join us. So we do have these guys, so I think we might as well send them to start a siege. Plans in. That's fine. That's a level 3 holding. Shouldn't be too difficult to get into, we hope. No, you're not joining the Citadel. You lost your mind. Sir, I wonder what these guys are doing. They're all just kind of sitting there. Sitting there waiting. So it looks like they finished up the one war for Riverbend. They did not get it. King Heron, it looks like, was able... Or the Huares, King Heron... Was able to keep his lands. And one of the interesting things I saw over here is... Oh, I guess they got it back. But one of the previous Hoares was actually the... Like, he owned the wall. It was part of his territory. He wasn't the Lord Commander, but... The wall was his. 
Iron Constitution, disease resistance, and a massive health boost. Boost. That is great. Max 18 months. And what are these guys doing? They're besieging. Should take not too much longer. Okay, so the Aaron's were ma able to get up a couple thousand troops. A few thousand troops, around 6,000. Not the worst output. But it does not matter for them. We were able to get our independence. Mostly due to the help of our allies. I do not claim to do this on our own. But that'll do it. We will enforce our demands. So be it. We become independent. We're going to disband all. And can we declare ourselves kings? Found a new kingdom. Here we go. Gather the realm. A realm reforged. I have done what no one else could. I have united the lands of Runestone with those of Gold Town and Grimholm. All my life I have worked for this, to call my vassals and make them swear fealty anew. Now and forever, they will pay homage to me not only as their king, but as king of Runestone. Very nice. That is wonderful. So we pretty much achieved what we wanted to here with our Royces. King Nestor, the noble of the Bronze Kingdom. There we go. That is what we're talking about. 14,000, I think will be one of the weakest, weaker kingdoms for now. Especially until he gets his troops back. But we did take a few of the stronger aspects of the Vale. Such as Runestone and Grafton's Holdfast. Two very, very important parts. Alright guys, we have achieved our goals of becoming the Bronze Kings. As you can see, we just fought our independence war against the mountain and the veil and we have become independent now we are kind of left at an impasse here if you would like to see a new house series just let me know i'm gonna have a couple polls going over on the community page if you would like to see one of those so go over there and vote on what house you might like to see or just drop a comment on this stream and or video whichever one you're viewing 